drivers of a hearse in Florida stopped at a Dunkin' Donuts with the flag draped coffin inside the back of their vehicle. You can see it right there. This happened yesterday. Two employees of Veterans Funeral Care made this pit stop in Newport Ritchie. In the back was a coffin carrying the body of Korean and Vietnam War veteran Lieutenant Colonel Jesse Coleman. The president of the funeral home says he fired the driver and the funeral director once he learned what they did. That's absolutely terrible. It's, uh, it's, not, what, it's not what we do. Uh, abs absolutely lack total, total lack of respect. The president of the funeral home says he called the widow to apologize. He says she was disappointed but did not want the employees fired. You know, we really want to know what you think about the story. Getting a lot of chatter on this on our social media page. Was this punishment fair? Join the conversation by heading over to our WPTV Facebook page. Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, a very interesting day. Lots of sunshine. We did have a few showers moving this morning and even some patchy fog along the Treasure Coast in Okeechobee County. But that fog burned off. Skies cleared up. We only have a few showers around right now, and they're actually south of our viewing area. The Jensen Beach camera showing there aren't very many people taking advantage of a very nice beach day. It's also the middle of the week, so a lot of people at work. Here's a quick look at what's going on right now on the radar. We do have showers down to our south, moving into Broward County. A few could move up into Boca and Boynton, but there are higher chances for rain somewhere else in our viewing area this afternoon. We'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes. Burger King, Duncan used oil down the drain. Used fry oil pouring it right into the sewer. Have you seen the video? Well, it has gone viral since we first reported it last week. A Lantana Burger King is now paying to pump frying oil from a storm drain. One of the restaurant's employees, as you can see in this video caught on camera, dumping oil right into a sewer drain. That location of the Burger King's owner tells our news partners at the Palm Beach Post that employee has since been fired and state and local investigations are underway right now. Some gas customers in Port St. Lucie are going to get their hot water and stoves turned back on today. Thousands have been without power following a car crash Sunday. The first customers to get natural gas today will be critical care facilities like hospitals or nursing homes. Florida City Gas says most people should have their gas by Saturday. All aboard Florida says it's going forward despite Indian River County trying to block it from getting the money it needs to pay for the high speed rail. Our news partner at TC Palm report all aboard says if it can't get $1.7 billion in tax exempt bonds for this project, it can go with other options. Now, execs do say these options could be more expensive, but they're still going forward. The Indian River County School District waking up with a new superintendent today. Last night, the school board unanimously approved hiring Mark Rendell as the new man in charge. He officially takes over July 1st, but in the meantime, he's going to act as a consultant for the school district to help ease the transition from outgoing superintendent Fran Adams. Rendell is going to make $160,000 a year over the next three of his contract. Millions of dollars in taxpayer money has been sent on free or reduced lunches for kids who don't actually qualify. Comes after a recent audit of schools found many families who get free or reduced lunches are lying on their applications about their income. Parents don't need to show proof of income to apply for the program. The USDA Office of Inspector General found during the 2012 to 2013 school year, taxpayers may have paid more than $12 million in lunches for students. $15 million, that's how much the Palm Beach County School Board has agreed to spend on 130 new school buses. Now, this is on top of the 110 buses the district already bought earlier this year. A vote came after a debate on whether or not school buses are safe. It's an issue our consumer watchdog has been following for two years. This year, we found half of the district's buses have broken down at least once. But I think it's important for the community to know that we are not putting unsafe buses on the road. The 130 new buses will be used throughout the area. Last year, the new fleet was only used in the southern part of the county. Two local high schools have once again ranked the top of their class. U.S. News & World Reports just released its annual list. Dreyfus School of the Arts and Suncoast were named among the top 20 schools in Florida. Really is quite the accomplishment when you consider there are more than 600 high schools here in the Sunshine State. Dreyfus in West Palm Beach came in ninth place. Riviera Beach's Suncoast High 
ranked 11th. The St. Louis County Sheriff's Office now identifying a man they believe abducted an elderly man in Fort Pierce. Take a look. This man may have approached Robert Shaw in his driveway Saturday and flashed a gun. Detectives say Shaw has identified this man as his kidnapper. They say they want to find him and talk with him. If you recognize this man, call the St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office immediately. Here's a story many of you are talking about on our Facebook page right now. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office looking for these two people. Here's why. They're accused of putting a skimming device on a SunTrust Bank ATM on Military Trail just west of Boynton Beach last month. If they look familiar, you can remain anonymous by calling Crime Stoppers at the number at the bottom of your screen. A new millionaire in Port St. Lucie coming up. We're going to tell you how he did it. Plus, hey, a warning for Starbucks users maybe getting a caffeine jolt today, but we'll tell you how hackers are trying to get into your credit cards. And getting pizza may just be a tweet away. We'll talk all about it when we come back in 60 seconds with more local coverage. The Palm Beach Post is your local news leader, delivering complete coverage you can count on. More than just headlines, the Post uncovers important news, providing depth, analysis, and perspective on the stories that impact your life. With the largest local news team, the Post has more reporters to cover the news where you live. When you want the real story, there's only one source. The Palm Beach Post, in print, on your tablet and smartphone. The Palm Beach Post, real news starts here. Hi, I'm Don Cameron from We Buy Ugly Houses. Times are tough. The news says things are getting better and home prices are going up. But can you honestly say your situation is improving? We'll buy any house, ugly or not, as is, all cash, and you'll pay no closing costs or commissions. You can get cash in your pocket in as little as 48 hours and stay in your house. Sell your house fast. Call 1-800-44-BUYER or visit WeBuyUglyHouses.com. A warning for those of you who use the Starbucks app. Hackers are trying to get your credit cards. They're doing it through the auto reload feature on that app. So to protect yourself, disable the feature that lets you automatically put more money on your account. It is not clear if anyone has gotten duped yet. Starbucks says it does have safeguards in place. Want a pizza? Send a tweet. It's as easy as that for Domino's customers. Starting next week, the pizza chain will let you place orders on Twitter. If you use Domino's a lot, all you have to do is tweet a pizza emoji to Domino's Twitter account. Domino says it already gets half of its sales from online orders anyway. A new survey finding more than four in five Americans are not asking for car insurance discounts. According to a survey released today by insurancequotes.com, just 16% of Americans have asked their car insurance company for common discounts. It said they didn't ask about low mileage, marriage, occupational good student and defensive driver discounts, all of which you can save money if you report them to your car insurance company. In addition, certain occupations like teachers and nurses are viewed as safer drivers and quality for discounts from many, or qualify, I should say, from many, many companies. So check into that this afternoon if you have some free time. General Motors recalling nearly 470,000 Chevrolet Malibu cars to fix potentially weakened steel cables that link the front seat belts to the vehicle. The recall involves Malibus from 2011 and 2012 model years. You know that cable can separate as people move into the seats. The dealers will inspect the cable and replace the lap tensioning mechanism if it's needed. You've probably seen it all over social media. Maybe a friend, neighbor, or coworker showed it to you. Shakeology, another new diet craze promising weight loss, increased energy, and decreased cravings for unhealthy food. Tonight at 5, we weigh the pros and the cons of these shakes. All right, how much would you pay a condo? On the controversial waterfront project in West Palm Beach, the price tag coming up. And how much would you pay for a husband? A Jupiter woman puts hers up for sale. Let's be clear here, though. Glenn, this is not you. <laughs> it's not. No. I wouldn't make any money. All right, here's what we're looking at uh, right now on Live Viper 5. Maxim showers rolling in along the coast. Not in our viewing area, but just south of it. And it could move, a few could move up into Boca. We've got some chances for rain today, but higher chances later this week. Your forecast is coming up. We're giving away a $500 gift card every morning. Watch for the money word of the day. Enter on Facebook and you could win. That's it. Watch and win. Weekdays from 6 to 7 a.m.
Personal injury cases can take a long time. Keeping a journal of your injuries and struggles can refresh your memory and help your case. I know. I used to work for them. Now I work for you. Don't leave money on the table. Call Kibby Wagner today. 1-800-311-KW-LAW. Addiction, like a thunderstorm, begins with a single drop, sweeping families away in the surge. I didn't have my father in my life, my mother. I didn't know where she was. Here in South Florida, Faith Farm Ministries, a free residential recovery program, provides shelter from the storm. Faith Farm gave me the hope. Faith Farm gave me the love. Miracles happen every day here. To learn the many ways you can support Faith Farm Ministries, including the donation of usable household items, visit faithfarm.org. Hi, I'm Jim Sackett here with my friend Spiro to tell you about Good Greek Painting, the official painters of the Miami Heat. I've lived and worked in Palm Beach County for a long time and I've often been asked about a good referral. Well, here's one. If your home or business needs to be expertly painted, call Spiro at Good Greek Painting. Thanks, Jim. I know how important it is to be referred to by a friend. Let the Good Greek take care of your next painting project. Call Good Greek Painting. Tell them Jim Sackett sent you. Good Greek Painting. Turn your house into a home. You are a hands-on caregiver who loves helping people get back on their feet. As a physical therapist assistant, you help patients recover from injury or illness. Kaiser University can prepare you to help patients improve their mobility and recover their ability to function, making a difference every day. Prepare for your new career now by calling Kaiser at 1-866-639-2845. That's 1-866-639-2845. Have you received a letter from your insurance stating what your case is worth? A computer may have decided that amount, not a person. I know. I used to work for them. Now I work for you. Don't leave money on the table. Call Kibby Wagner Law, 1-800-311-KW-LAW. Closed captioning on WPTV is sponsored by Bethesda Health. 12.15 right now on your Wednesday afternoon, and one of, there, there's a new millionaire, we should say, in Port St. Lucie today. The Florida Lottery says Leslie Profit won the $2 million gold rush scratch-off game. The lottery says the 50-year-old took a one-time lump sum payment of $1.4 million. Not a bad jackpot. Bought a scratch-off at the 7-Eleven in Fort Pierce. All right, one of West Palm Beach's finest on his way back home after being honored in Washington, D.C., Officer Christopher Nebeling last night was honored at the Top Cops Award dinner in our nation's capital. During a speech, Vice President Joe Biden praised the seven-year vet for stopping a man armed with an AK-47 back in October of 2013. Before joining West Palm Beach's police department in 2008, Nebeling did tours in Afghanistan and Iraq. Developers have been fighting to build it for years, and now the new luxury condo is already selling units before it's built. This right here is what the Bristol is going to look like. It's going up at the old chapel by the lake property at the foot of the Royal Park Bridge. The developer says buyers are spending between four and a half million and $25 million for a place to live here. The building should be done in two years. All right, so this is a story that's generating a lot of talk right now. A Jupiter mom says her Mother's Day was so bad that she's putting her husband on the auction block. Katie Bouye says her husband did nothing for her this past Sunday, not even wishing her a happy Mother's Day. What's up with that? So here's the deal. She got on social media saying that one woman's trash is another woman's treasure. We got up with a couple last night, and the husband gave his wife a public apology. Take a listen. I'm sorry, and happy Mother's Day. And you're a wonderful wife, and you really helped take care of me and the kids. Thank you. Thank you. I think this is what they mean when they say for better or for worse, right? Uh, the highest bid, in case you're wondering, Chris got 20 bucks. <laughs> Not sure if it's worth it. Uh, he says he cooks, cleans, and paints, so $20 is far too low for his skill set. They'll just have to hold out for something else. Now, Storm Team 5 with South Florida's most accurate weather forecast. Good afternoon again, everyone. A gorgeous looking shot here from our live five camera over Peanut Island and Singer Island. Lots of blue skies. Intracoastal looking good today. Still a risk for rip currents along area beaches, courtesy of these east southeasterly winds that are in place today. And they're about 10 to 20 miles per hour. They're helping to bring in some showers down to the south here. And as we get into the afternoon hours, it's going to carry our chances for rain farther inland. But there you see some of the rainfall moving in right down closer to Fort Lauderdale and really to our area. A couple up in Pompano here, and we could see some ease up into Boca. High pressure 
in control of our weather and will remain in control for the next three to four days. It'll start to ease up a little bit over the weekend. That will change our forecast a bit. But for right now, it's really blocking any other weather pattern from moving into South Florida. So we're going to pretty much stick with the same kinds of conditions day after day for the next few days here, which is having a few showers come in along the coast, but then having a higher concentration of rainfall around Lake Okeechobee. Here's 3.30 this afternoon. Uh, each afternoon and then all of that rainfall will continue to push over toward the west coast of Florida and then overnight tonight could see a few more showers cruise on in along the coast but rain chances remain relatively slim for today and tomorrow only about a 10 percent chance and really only about a 20 percent chance on Friday more moisture will move in over the weekend. It won't be a washout, but our rain chances will increase to about 40%. So look for scattered showers and possibly a few thunderstorms both Saturday and Sunday. If you have outdoor plans, again, not a washout, but keep an eye on the radar as you head out over the weekend. Uh, so a few coastal showers, breezy today, and of course that chance for a few showers and thunderstorms inland this afternoon. Our average highs this time of year are around 85 degrees. We'll be in the upper 80s along the coast and around 90 degrees around Lake Okeechobee through the afternoon here tonight temperatures dropping down into the 70s maybe tiptoeing into the upper 60s in Okeechobee tonight mild and breezy could see a coastal shower overnight and again we could see some fog develop overnight into tomorrow morning tomorrow more of the same highs mid to upper 80s along the coast some low 90s inland pretty low rain chances rain chances pick up a little bit on Friday a little more Saturday and Sunday and then decrease again Monday and Tuesday our temperatures stay right around average for this time of year straight through the seven day forecast well it's that time of the week here on the noon show when we answer your common health questions joining me as always News Channel 5's medical expert Dr. David Saria the chief of emergency medicine at Wellington Regional Medical Center as always thanks for making a house call doctor let's welcome. talk about our two questions of the day right now. The warning signs for melanoma, very important here in South Florida. They are there. We've talked about this before and I'm glad we're bringing it up again because it's very important for everybody to remember there. A, B, C, D, E of melanoma. A, asymmetry. Should look the same. Put a line right through it, should look the same on both sides. If it doesn't, there's a problem. B, borders. Borders should be smooth. If they're irregular, could be an issue. C, color. Uniform color, normal. If there's multiple colors in it, make sure you see your doctor. D, diameter. Should be about less than a quarter of an inch. If it starts to grow or grows beyond mm -hmm. that, could be a problem. And E, evolving in any way. If it grows, changes colors, changes shape, make sure you get it checked out. Could be a problem or could be indicative of melanoma. An easy acronym to follow right there. Absolutely. All right, let's talk about heat rash. Another thing you can deal with here in South That's Florida. Right. What, what are the symptoms and what causes it? Yeah, very common, especially this time of year. Very humid, very hot. And, and it's the same thing as prickly heat. and usually occurs on skin that's covered by clothing that gets very sweaty and what happens is then the sweat glands get obstructed and they become inflamed red and itchy the treatment's very simple okay get out of the heat yep right? get in a cool dry place take the clothing off make sure you allow that skin to air dry you don't want to Dry it off of the towel can be very irritating. Avoid any lotions, any ointments, and in 24 to 48 hours, Man. that prickly heat rash should be gone. If it doesn't, and sometimes what can happen is it can get super infected. If it gets worse, make sure you come see us because it could be an infection. You may need antibiotics. Sure. All right, but uh, get out of that heat if you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Uh, those two things you for sure. a lot of that. If you have a question for Dr. Saria, you can always send it in. Just go to our website. It's very easy, WPTV.com. Click on the health link. Just scroll down on the right-hand side. You'll see that form to write your question for the doctor. All right, thank you for coming in again, doctor, and we will see you right back yeah. after this. Hello, Jupiter Tequesta. I need some help with my air conditioning. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. Hi, I'm Mike Sonsini, one of the owners of Screen Builders. You may have seen news reports about a fraudulent company with a name similar to ours. I like to set the record straight. Our company, Screen Builders, has been serving the South Florida community for 28 years. We don't cut corners. So remember, we're the original screen builders. We're here to stay and we'll continue serving you with honesty, integrity, and customer service. When what's inside is important to your family, 
choose our family. At All My Sons Moving and Storage, we're family owned and operated with over four generations of packing, storing, and moving experience. At All My Sons, you get a guaranteed binded price in writing. So, whether we pack the box or you do, or if you're moving one mile, one city, or one state away, let our family move yours. Dial star star move to speak with a moving specialist today. All My Sons Moving and Storage. It's an all-new Woman Crush Wednesday. First, Laura takes on an unsolved murder, and the big clue is on the big screen. Excuse me, are you on the list? All access pass. Then on SVU, a parent's worst nightmare, but nothing is what it seems. He was all Miss Dana. No! A mother would never do that to her own son. And on Chicago PD, the only way to get the hostages out is for him to go in alone. New Woman Crush Wednesday, tonight on NBC. You get at the end of your rope and you don't have anywhere to go, you, you can't help yourself. That's what I found through Gordon and Donner, that I wasn't alone and there could be something done. The experience has been wonderful. They really are something else, and they came through for me on the compensation climb. Lo and behold, I still have my place. Life's looking good. I can smile again. I can sleep again. Gordon and Donner for the injured. Triple Crown hopes have never been higher. Saturday, May 16th, the Preakness Stakes Viewing Party. Kentucky Derby winner American Pharaoh takes his shot at history as he attempts to win the middle jewel of the Triple Crown, the Preakness Stakes. First race starts at 10.30 a.m. Join us for a full day of live racing, great food, specials, and much more. First race starts at 1 p.m. There's only one place to enjoy the Preakness and live racing in South Florida, Gulfstream Park. Hello, Jupiter to Cuesta. I need some help with my electrical. Quick, efficient home repair is reason to celebrate. Time and temperature from TD Bank. Coming up at four on the Now with Shannon Cake, selfie surgeries. Plastic surgeons across the country are seeing a spike in facial reconstructive surgeries because of, yep, you guessed it, social media. So we're going to take a look at what's driving that selfie surgery trend, plus the best workouts to complement what you're feeling. We'll talk all about it today at four. Before we leave you, though, we want to get one last check of the forecast. Hey, Glenn. All right, let's take a look at it here. Rain chances fairly low, but we could see a few coastal showers and a couple of inland showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Same forecast for tomorrow, basically. A little increase in rain on Friday. As we head into the weekend, I want to emphasize it's not going to be a washout. But if you do have outdoor plans, keep an eye on the radar throughout the day. There's about a 40% chance for showers and a few thunderstorms sweeping across the area from east to west. Partly sunny skies, hot and humid. You know the drill. You know the drill. <laughs> We've seen it most <laughs> of this week. Repeat, yeah. repeat. All, All right. right. Thank you so much for joining us. You made it to the middle of the week, folks. We're there. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. Save over $125,000 on the ultimate in luxury from Winnebago. The best known name in motorhomes. The Ellipse Ultra is Winnebago Industries' flagship diesel pusher with massive power and yet all this luxury. See the full line today at La Mesa RV. Need a new mattress? Come to El Dorado and shop Florida's largest mattress selection. Hi, I'm Don Cameron from We Buy Ugly Houses. And of course you know that we buy ugly houses, but did you know that we help people out of ugly situations? If you have a house that you need to sell, we'll buy it as is, all cash, and you will pay no closing costs or commissions. We'll put cash in your pocket in as little as 48 hours, and you can even stay in your house. Sell your house fast. Call 1-800-44-BUYER or visit webuyuglyhouses.com.
If you ever need a lawyer, the idea, the very idea of walking into a law office, well, can be intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. I'm joined now by Mark Anajar and Glenn Levine from the law offices of Anajar and Levine to kind of take us through the process of what it's like to come in and talk with a lawyer and figure out whether or not we have a claim. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for having us. So tell us what we should do very, the very first thing. Well, the analogy that I take as a lawyer is that I look at ourselves as firefighters. We're putting out other people's problems, right? So I would say the more information you give us, the better we're going to be able to answer your question. So take the time to get all your papers together, whether it's a contract issue, whether it's a car accident, whether it's a family law dispute, whether it's something regarding Social Security. Get all your documents in order because the worst thing you could do is come to an attorney's office and have him just send you back to go get more information and not really and not feel satisfied that he answered your question mm -hmm. and people want a quick response but sometimes that's not realistic you know we have to gather as much information as possible you should be meeting with an attorney not with a secretary or a paralegal you know that conversation should take place with an attorney because a lot of times we have the ability to see other issues that may be missed and you just want to make sure that your questions are answered when you come to meet with an attorney, that discussion is absolutely private. It's called attorney-client privilege. So you should never be afraid to tell your attorney anything. And the more information we have, the better advice we can give you. And that's why there is that attorney-client privilege to encourage clients to be 100% honest and frank with their attorney so that we can find the best way to help you. It just, it's critical. And I, I think the more honest and open the relationship, the more trust you'll have with that attorney and the better job they'll be able to do for you. For more information, call 800 747 free. That's 800 seven four seven three seven three three or go to south florida injury law.com legal playbook is sponsored by the law offices of anna john levine the now south florida stories everyone's talking about right now making sure you're in the know with new information before everyone else it's a bold new way to get your news the now south florida weekdays at four on wptv news channel five it's the I-95 RV Show in Port St. Lucie. You'll save thousands on a newer used RV. Like this used Thor Motor Coach Serrano, discounted to just $369 per month. The I-95 RV Show is going on now at La Mesa RV in Port St. Lucie. Four amazing people from all across the country on their webcam trying to win up to $35,000. Let's meet them from San Antonio, Texas. Go, Brittany. Go, Brittany. Go, Brittany. From Seattle, Washington. Give it up for Juliet. From Lowell, Massachusetts. Go, Christina. Go, Christina. From Columbia, South Carolina. Give it up for Jay. We asked America their opinions on a bunch of fun times. All you have to do is guess what America said and you win big money. If you're ready to have some fun, say yeah. 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 All right. This first question is worth $100 and has two possible answers. The answers are strip, tease. And the question is, what do single men say is a better way for a woman to drive him wild? I say, cook and clean. 